Hi, welcome back. Let me ask you a question. Do you feel like the light, the excitement, the love for what you do, for your business, for your brand has just been knocked out of you? Do you want to hide under the table every time somebody asks what your website address is? Or if they ask you for a business card because, let's face it, you did that three years ago and it was a template. Or if you think about your photography, what photography, right? Or you have clients, they're coming in, things are getting there, but you just feel a disconnect with your brand. It doesn't represent you anymore. There's something missing. You just need some, but you have no idea what, right? If any of this reflects on how you're feeling right now, stay tuned because this is for you. I'm Maria Ines, and I'm a brand strategist and a photographer. And what that means is that I help you highlight what is wonderfully special about you to be unforgettable in the minds of those clients you want to bring to you. And what's best is that I bring back the love and the fun to your business and your brand. So this week, I want to tackle three roadblocks that I see a lot of creative entrepreneurs stumble upon on their road to branding or rebranding their businesses. Today, I want to talk to you about personality. Why personality? Well, if you are a solopreneur, a mompreneur, a photopreneur, anypreneur, if you're a one woman business, you are your brand, right? You're a personality led brand. The question here comes when my clients or people on Facebook that I have seen comments and questions about come is, all right, I am my brand, but how do I know how much of me, how much of my personality to infuse in my brand? Well, my darling, you may not like the answer, but the answer is it depends. But don't worry, don't go away just yet. This it depends is behind a very solid strategy. And that's what I want to talk to you about. The first step that I always help my clients to figure out is, let's see what about you. It's unique, it's special, and it will help you stand out. Do you know this? Do you know this answer? All right. So you will come up with a few adjectives, characteristics, traits, call it whatever you want, about who you are and what makes you unique. Those are the things that you have to keep really close eye on because they are the things that will help you inform every decision that you make in your brand. Let me explain uh, an example. Personally, I'm a Latin woman, right? But I don't necessarily use that as a differentiator in my brand. There are many reasons for that. And this brings me back to my next point. One of the reasons why I don't necessarily use it is because I have considered whether or not being a Latina is relevant to my brand story, to my personal uniqueness, and to the clients that I want to attract. Now, if I was a salsa dance teacher, let's say, being a Latin woman would definitely be a very good differentiator between, for example, here in the Netherlands, there's a lot of people teaching salsa dancing. Well, a way for me to stand out among the other Dutch teachers would be to say, hey, I'm a Latin salsa dancing teacher, right? Because that is relevant to the people I want to attract. So, for example, with my brand, right, I talk about travels, I talk about journeys, because that's something that is really part of my personality. I have been traveling so long and so much that it has become second nature to me. And therefore, it's sort of it is part of me. So when I when I decided that branding is a journey is going to be my sort of tagline. I decided that based on the fact that there are other people who also feel adventurers, wonders, um, 
they love traveling, they love this exploration idea, right? And I could connect with them. And those people are definitely people I want to attract with. So you see how from something that could make me unique, I decided not to, and I decided yes to, all right? Based on the next step, which is how relevant is to my brand, to my story, and to those clients I want to attract. So once you have that figured out, then you're going to take it to the last step, and that is, it's up to you. So somebody may say to you, uh, some brand strategist or some um, coach may tell you, okay, you're Latina, you have to show your Latinness. For example, when I was going through this example, I remember telling my brand strategist, I was like, I don't want a picture with me with a big, you know, mango or, or like a big flower here because that's not me yes I am Latina but that's not just me there's so much more about me right so um this is where you get to decide based on all those things that we just talked about how you're going to infuse your personality and your brand so you see how even though I'm saying it's up to you there is a rhyme and reason in this decision and this is just one example on how really uncovering your personality and uncovering those unique points that make you stand out from the rest will help inform the rest of your strategy. Because at the end of the day, this is the question I always ask my clients. All things being equal, how do you stand out from the rest? powerful right all things being equal how do you stand out from the rest the example and i will close up with this the example i like to uh, always use is this like imagine you were on a on a speed dating right so there's 10 beautiful gorgeous amazing fun creative whatever women and only one guy on the other side he's gonna listen to all of them and they all have equally amazing opportunities because they're amazing. How do you stand out from the rest? I'll leave you with that. Think about it, process it, and come back because we're going to talk about two other roadblocks that I see all the time in your brand journey. I hope this was helpful and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. And if you have questions, please post them here. I love, love, love receiving questions and answering and helping you really gain back that fun, that excitement, that love for what you do. Because at the end of the day, when you love what you do, you will attract those people that you want to attract. All right. Bye-bye.